Roxy and I'm glad to meet you again. Today I will show you how to make this very beautiful cardigan uh, for uh, spring or autumn. It's very easy to make. It's made only with back loops, single crochet and this cardigan can be adapted to any size. So don't matter what size you, ca you have. You can do it. It's very easy to make. And uh, I think if you are a beginner, you can do it. Okay? Um, the crochet that I use is the crochet number 5 millimeters. And um, I use a mohair yarn. See? very beautiful and soft and um, for this cardigan I use around one kilogram at this yard and uh, this cardigan is for S size um, if you like my work please subscribe to my channel and let's begin Before you begin this cardigan, you need to measure at the shoulders until you want uh, to finish your cardigan. Because um, even if uh, you work horizontally like that, uh, after you finish, uh, we to, uh, turn your wall at the vertical and uh, it uh, will look like that. So, horizontally that we work and then we turn at vertical. Okay? This is the length for the cardigan and here will be um, the white okay but so change so many stitch you need okay and then uh, we begin at uh, to make the back side okay after you chain the number that you need in my case for example I have um, 80 centimeter for the length of the cardigan and I chain uh, 116 and after I skip one stitch at the beginning, I will, I have uh, 150, but it's your choice how long you want to be this cardigan, okay? So I have 18, 80 centimeters. Skip one stitch into the next, make single crochet. And the first row is made only with single crochet in every stitch. You will see how easy it is this cardigan. If you are a beginner, don't hesitate to make it because it's not hard. And I try to explain every step that you need to follow. And I think you can do it if you are a beginner. Okay, so single crochet until you finish. And then I will show you how to make the next row. I finished the first row with single crochet in every stitch. And now from now on, we make 
only back loops single crochet okay chain one turn your work and here into the first back loops insert the crochet and make single crochet okay so back loops single crochet always we insert the crochet into the back loops okay continue until you almost finish the row and then i will show you how to finish the row and how to begin the next row i work until i almost finish the row uh, always at the end of the row don't make back loops single crochet because uh, don't look nice so always the last stitch is made with single crochet okay always the last stitch at the end of the row and then chain one turn your work and continue to make back loops single crochet in every stitch okay so always don't forget at the end of the row make single crochet and you will see after you make some rows the beginning and the end will look very nice okay and now continue to make so many rows you need until you obtain the back white but how do you know how to obtain the back white you need to measure all around your body here where the hips are bigger and the result divide by two okay so measure all around the body where the hips are bigger and the number that you obtain divide by two in my case my model has 90 centimeter all around because she is a smart person and I divide by two and I have 45 centimeter for the back wide okay so I need to make so many rows until I obtain uh, 45 centimeter but this is in my case but doesn't matter uh, what size you have because the measure uh, is make it uh, in the same way regardless of the size you have so don't matter what size you have okay one more time measure all around the body divide by two and then make so many rows until you obtain the by the back wide okay but it's very important one moment to show you the last row at the back must look the same at the first so it doesn't matter what size you have you can make one row in plus but you need look this is the first row this is the last here we have in plus uh, where uh, when we chain but it's okay but the first row must look the same at 
the last the first row the last row okay so continue to make so many rows until you obtain the back wide cut and hide the yarn and then I will show you how to continue I finish the back and look I work until I have 45 centimeters okay and look here it is the first row and here it is the last okay so this first and the last look the same it's very important you will see okay sorry and now um, we need to make here at the top we need to make single crochet in every row uh, because here will be the top part and when we join the front side at the back side will be more easy and will look more beautiful okay so take the crochet make a slip knot and then uh, if the first stitch will be here into the first row don't insert the crochet here where you chain okay you insert the crochet into the first row okay chain one and into the first row make one single crochet into the next row here it is the next row one single crochet into the next row here it is single crochet to the next row single crochet into the next single crochet okay so one single crochet in every row i will make some to see how it is Okay, so one row, one single crochet until you finish and then cut the yarn, make a slip knot and then I will show you how to measure for the front side. I make single crochet here on the top part for every row. The number and then I count the number of single crochet that I make. The number of single crochet must be the same with the number of rows. So single crochet and rows must be the same. And then we need some space for the neck. In my case uh, is 13 centimeter okay so for the S size 30 centimeter for M 14 centimeter for L size uh, 15 centimeter for XL size uh, 16 centimeter etc okay so for every size in plus one centimeter in plus measure and uh, I make like that the number that I have 
with single crochet minus the number of centimeter that I need for the neck okay and uh, the result must be a number uh, who is the same for the right and for the left okay so you need to have the same number of rows here and also the same number of rows here and also it's very important look I put the stitch marker because my last row at the front side must look the same at the first row okay so always put the stitch marker into the row who looks exactly the same with the first row here will be the last row for the front side here it is the first row okay for the front side you need to make two parts one for the left one for the right and chain exactly the same number that you chain for the back side make the first row as I show you with single crochet and then the next rows with back loops single crochet as I show you in my case I need to make two front side and then I will show you how to join the front side at the back side I make two front side one and two and now uh, it's time to make also single crochet here at the front side but first you take the back side and put like that and this part where you make single crochet will be the uh, outside okay and I take one front side and look the last row is the same with the first and the last row at the front side must be here where we will make the uh, front edge okay so the last row must be here so I make first I make single crochet until I uh, uh, reach at the last row and then I will show you how to join okay so make single crochet but don't cut the yarn I finish to make single crochet in every row and now it's time to join the front side at the back side and you take the back side and one moment and insert the crochet here into the first stitch at the front side then into the first stitch at the back side one moment at the back side and join them with a slip stitch here at the first stitch is a little hard but then but but then it's easy to join one moment I make again so insert the crochet 
into the first stitch at the front side then at the back side and join with slip stitch then into the next uh, stitch at the front side then into the next stitch at the back side join with slip stitch then into the next stitch at the front side then into the next stitch at the back side join with slip stitch it's very easy okay so insert the crochet into the next stitch at the front side then into the next stitch at the back side and join them with a slip stitch and it look like that continue until you finish cut and hide the yarn and then you take the second front side and <coughs> you also need to be with the last row here okay so i begin from here to make single crochet and then i continue to join the front side at the back side okay so at this front side the last row must be here and the next front side the last row must be here okay join these two front side and then i will show you how to make the edge i finished to join the front side at the back side and it look like that now i take the stitch markers because i don't need it and uh, your uh, cardigan at this moment look like that the back side and to front side okay and now we make the front edge the front edge is make exactly the same as you work at the cardigan back loops single crochet for uh, that reason i sh i tell you it's very important to last row must be here where we make uh, the front edge okay because we continue with back loops and also here even if you have single crochet here you make back loops all around and we begin from here and we finish here and it make exactly the same and also don't forget the last stitch you need to make single crochet and in my case I need to make so many rows until I have at least 6.5 millimeters why 6.5 millimeter because here I have uh, 13 centimeter okay and 30 centimeter divided by 2 is 6.5 here 6.5 here but uh, I will see if I make more uh, rows or not okay but you need to make at least a half at the number of centimeter or inch that 
you have here at the neckline okay and take the yarn make a slip knot and insert the crochet into the first stitch here okay chain one and here into the first stitch you make single crochet but only here at this first stitch and now you continue to make back loops look single crochet because the last row at the front side help us to continue exactly how it is and after you finish you will see how beautiful it is okay look see and I will make so many rows until I have at least 6.5 millimeter but it's only in my case okay depends how many centimeter or inch you have here at the neck okay after I finish the edge I make one slave I will join the slave on the cardigan and I will close one part and then I will show you how to make the slave and also how to close the cardigan. I finish the front edge and also I make the slave and I join the slave on the cardigan and also I close the cardigan I join the back side and the front side and also I close the sleeve and now uh, for the sleeve <coughs> you need to measure at the shoulders until underarm okay and the result multiple with two okay so the result multiple with two in my case my model has uh, 16 centimeter and <coughs> uh, I don't want to be uh, the slave uh, too small and I make 16 plus 2 in total 18 centimeter and this 18 centimeter I multi multiple with 2 and I have um, 36 centimeter and to here until here I have 36 centimeter and uh, now uh, <clears throat> before you begin the slave you need to measure under arm uh, sorry at the shoulders measure your arm until you reach uh, where the hand begin until here so on, at the shoulders until your hand begin in my case for example my model has 48 centimeter but I don't chain until I have 38 because after we finish the slave we need to make a edge and also we need to decrease here okay so the result 
make minus 5 cm. In my case, uh, I chain until I have 43 cm. And I make in total, but only in my case, I make 49 rows. And other slave, the first row and the last row also need to be to look exactly the same. Okay? First row, last row. Exactly as you make at the cardigan. Um, after you finish this part at the slave, I will show you uh, first part I will show you how to decrease and how to make this edge okay and then I will show you how to join the slave at the cardinal so after you finish this part of the slave it's time to make the little edge here and also we need to decrease at this part and you begin at uh, where your last row and the first row look like that okay exactly as you make at the front side and on the back side and you insert the crochet into the first row Okay, make a slip knot, chain one, and into the first row, insert the crochet, and make one unfinished single crochet. Then, into the next row, one unfinished single crochet, and join them into one. Into the next row, make one unfinished single crochet, then into the next row, one unfinished single crochet. Join them into one. One more time, into the next row, make one unfinished single crochet, into the next row, one unfinished single crochet. Join them into one okay continue until you finish the row and then I will show you how to continue I almost finished the row and as you can see here into the last I have only one row here you make only one single crochet because regardless of uh, rows you make the number will be a number who can't be divided by two okay so into the last row make a simple single crochet then chain one turn your work and now you continue to make back loops single crochet and make so many rows you need until you obtain the length for your slave. In my case, I need to make nine rows. I make one row when I decrease, and now uh, I make the row number two. Okay, so make peg loops, single crochet, exactly as you make at the slave and make so many rows you need after you finish cut and hide the yarn after you make a uh, finish this edge and look how it is but uh, will be a little uh, small you will see after you make some rows after you finish you make here is the uh, 
the bottom edge of the slab, okay? And at this part, you make, as I show you, single crochet in every row, okay? As I show you, uh, when uh, you make the back side and the front side. But after you make single crochet in every row, don't cut the yarn because we continue to join the sleigh of the cardigan, okay? After you finish the bottom edge and also after you make here at the top at the sleeve single crochet in every row uh, you count the number of rows don't matter how small or big will be your sleeve the number of single crochet must be uh, exactly uh, at the number of the rows and this number uh, will be a number who can't be divided by two. In my case, uh, is I make 49 rows. And make like that. The number that you have, in my case, 49 minus one. And I have 48. This result, I divide by two. And I have 24. And count at the beginning 24 and then into the next stitch put a stitch marker and then count again and you will have the same number here and here okay and then take your cardigan and first put one stitch marker exactly where you join the front side at the back side and then count the number that you obtain after you divide by two and put a stitch marker exactly into the last uh, stitch in my case I put the stitch marker into the uh, 24 stitch and then count again and put a stitch marker okay and the join is exactly the same as I show you when we join the front side at the back side one moment okay You insert the crochet into the first stitch and then insert the crochet here where you put a stitch marker. Now I take the stitch marker okay one moment okay join with slip stitch and continue okay into the next stitch insert the crochet of the slave and then insert the crochet into the next stitch at the cardigan join with slip stitch one more time insert the crochet into the next stitch of the slave, then insert the crochet into the next stitch of the cardigan, join with slip stitch. Okay, and continue until you finish to uh, join the slave at the cardigan. After you finish, cut and hide the yarn, and then we need to close the cardigan and we begin <coughs> one moment 
we begin from here at the bottom look we begin from here with the same type of join as i show you and continue until you <coughs> reach under r and then continue to close the sleeve after you finish um, i will show you how to uh, make uh, the bottom edge because uh, car this cardigan will look more beautiful with a little edge and i think i will make the shell stitch because it's uh, ele elegant stitch and i think is match perfect with the cardigan okay i will finish to join the sleeve and i close the cardigan and then i will show you how to make the edge after you finish to join the sleeve and also after you close the cardigan the last part of this cardigan is the bottom edge it's very simple and easy to make make a slip knot and insert the crochet into the first row chain one and make one single crochet for the edge i change the crochet and i work with the crochet number four and now after you make one single crochet skip two rows one two into the third insert the crochet and make five double crochet one two three four and five skip two rows again one two into the third insert the crochet and make one single crochet one more time skip two rows one two into the third insert the crochet and make five double crochet one two three four and five skip two rows again one two into the third make one single crochet see continue to make as i show you until you finish the row after you finish this bottom edge your cardigan is ready i hope you like it if you like my creation uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and bye bye